So we're going to take this Black Widow spider, one that we caught in the house, and we just got through filming, and we are going to stick it in this jar with Black Widow. Now this Black Widow figurine here, I ordered this online from Amazon, and I'm very disappointed with it. I even made a review about it on Amazon and left a picture. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? Anyways, I did. It was, I want to say $11.49 or $11.99. I ordered it, and it was supposed to be here free shipping really quick, and it came from China. It took forever to get here. So it arrives, and it's the wrong one. This is the Black Widow in that, you know, the normal Black Widow outfit. I don't know what this outfit's called. It was supposed to be in the Quantum outfit, you know, the white outfit. We already have plenty of Black Widow, Black Widows in the black outfit, so I wanted the white outfit, and I'm very disappointed. And I left that as a review and said, look, it, you can't tell them apart. I only ordered it because it was in the Millennial or whatever outfit they call this. And I was very disappointed. So by putting the Black Widow spider in with Black Widow, I have to store the spider till I get a chance to, to film it before it gets uh, meets its maker or goes to the great beyond. Splat! So while I'm waiting to do that, I'll put it in this container with a Black Widow, throw a cricket in there or two for it to eat. Because, you know, we got to take care of them while they're in captivity until we, you know, eradicate them. Because that's how we roll. All right, everybody, so it has been a week and a half since we have placed this Black Widow spider in with the Black Widow in this jar, and check it out. You can see the remnants of the crickets that I put in there for the Black Widow to feed on. Unlike the other Black Widow we have in a jar in captivity, this Black Widow has not laid an egg sac, and as you can see, it's well fed, so that might mean this one has never mated. Remember, Black Widow spiders only need to mate once in their life. They hold that spider sperm in them, and they can use that to produce egg sacs and spider babies for the rest of their life. Now, I don't know the exact correlation between food and egg sac, but I will tell you, if a Black Widow spider has plenty of food, it will make, it will lay, it will create plenty of egg sacs. I guess that's just one of those natural selection things. If the food if is plentiful, we can have more spiders there. Kind of like goldfish. If your fish tank is large, your goldfish will grow larger. It's because they release some, I don't know, enzyme or hormone or some kind of weird thing into the water. And even in a smaller tank, if you keep changing that water to keep it filtered and replaced, you can trick a small goldfish into becoming a huge carp. But, you know, we're not here to trick Mother Nature. You know, at least... Not intentionally, okay, at least not admittedly. But so this spider has been in here, like I said, about a week and a half, and you can see she's eating well. And look at something else you may notice. Look at all the spider poops, all that white stuff that looks like tiny bird poops. That's spider poops. In particular, it's black widow spider poops. Other spider poops may look different, and I mean, they do. I don't know how many spider have these white ones like this. But, you know, it's like that old saying, you know, what's that white stuff in spider poop? Well, it's poop, okay? Yeah, gotcha, right? You can see how much webs she has been slinging, web slinging, between Black Widow's batons, and it's pretty much right there in that area. The Black Widow spider has been staying there, obviously has to run her down to the ground where she caught the crickets to drag them up to eat. And, you know, she's living the life of luxury until we get a chance to eliminate her and all of her kind from my house. And I think just as a test case, since this one won't lay egg sacs, or at least she hasn't yet, and she's had plenty of food, so, you know, that's a relief. We might keep her in captivity for a little bit longer, maybe a few more weeks, maybe a month, just to see what goes on inside this jar. Yes, this jar is not one of the most optically friendly containers we could put her in, but it's one of those, you know, cat food container to pureed cat food, Japanese cat food things. I peeled the label off real quick, or the best I could, and it still looks like crap. Plop the Black Widow in there, bam, sealed it up. There's holes drilled in the top, but see the holes when you drill into something like this, if there are spider babies involved, they can crawl right on out, and we have seen that in the past. And as long as I check on this spider every four or five days, I am not gonna get surprised with an egg sac and then, you know, spider babies everywhere! All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Is this insane? Have you ever done that? Do you want to do this? And like I said, is this insane? As always, thanks for watching.
Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>